Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between Mikhail Tal and Bent Larsen. This game was played in Portorož in 1958. And where is Portorož? Hmm? Portorož is a city in Afri? 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 Portorož is a city in Slovenia. After Tal's visit to Portorož, the popularity of the city grew by 66%. Amazing, isn't it? Let's have a look at the game. Mikhail Tal had white pieces and he started at e4. Bent Larsen played c5, Sicilian defense. Knight to f3, d6, d4. C takes on d4. Knight takes on d4. Knight to f6, attacking the pawn on e4. Defending a6, going for Neidorf, bishop to g5, left from b to d7, bishop to c4, and Bent Larsen played queen to a5, avoiding e6. Variation, what happens if e6? If e6, then castling b5, critical position, and in this position, Tal would play bishop takes on e6. Pawn takes bishop, knight takes attacking the queen, queen to a5, b4, queen takes on b4, knight to d5, knight takes knight, queen takes knight, and after knight to b6, knight to c7 check, king to d7, and then the queen to f7. Very long variation, isn't it? The variation that Bent Larsen wanted to avoid. That's why he played the queen to a5. Queen to d2, defending the bishop on g5. Good alternative move would be bishop takes knight. e6, and Tal castled king's side. h6, attacking the bishop. Bishop to h4. Bishop to e7, rook from a to d1, and Bent Larsen played knight to e5. Attacking the bishop on c4. What is wrong with castling? If Bent Larsen castled, how would you continue now? This is what Tal prepared knight to d5 and if queen takes queen then knight takes on, on e7 check and after king to h8 rook takes queen and white is a piece up hmm? so perhaps in this position queen to d8 but then knight takes bishop that would be the best option for black to avoid all this, knight to e5 was played, bishop to b3, and now g5. What about knight to g6? If knight to g6 attacking the bishop, then bishop to g3, and after bishop to d7, f4. So this is the move that Tal wants to play, f4. We have g5, bishop to g3, bishop to d7 white to move. Your move would be Tal played f4 to open up the files. Pawn takes pawn. Bishop takes pawn. Knight to h5 attacking the bishop. Bishop takes on e5. Queen takes on e5. King to h1 to avoid a surprise check on the long diagonal. Knight to f6. Knight to f3, queen to h5, white to move. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Very important move. Tal played e5, the buttering ram. It opens the d-file and makes the room for the knight on e4. D takes on e5, knight to e4, 
and Bent Larsen Castle Queen side. He surely considered knight takes knight and did not like it because of queen takes on d7. Anything else? How about then bishop to c6? Is that better? Then knight to g3, and after queen to g6, then knight takes on e5. Okay, and what else? Maybe rook to d8, defending the bishop. Well, that would be better tried than a move played in the game. I guess. Then knight to g3, and then after queen to g6, then knight takes on e5. Still, white is better. Okay, so we have a castling. White to move. How does this position look like to you? Who is better? Do you agree that white is better? But can you believe that Tal crushed his opponent in only a few moves from this position? Unbelievable. Okay, first move. Knight to g3, queen to g4. Then knight takes on e5, attacking the queen again. Queen to h4. Queen to c3 check. King to b8. Game over. White. Play the move and black resigned. What is the move? Tal played knight takes bishop on d7. And Larsen resigned in view of this continuation. Knight takes knight. Rook takes knight, and after rook takes rook, queen takes rook on h8. Amazing. From this position to this position. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your king hunt and bye for now.